Number one, you begin with cycle drills. All right, these are the drills I've been teaching you for a while. Cycle drill, one step drill, and the cycle ladder drill. Now, when you perform the cycle drills, everything is up and down. Heels into hips, all right? Feet straight back down to the ground. Drive that trail leg into the ground so it forces the rhythm forward. You're not taking a step towards the next hurdle. You drive the foot down and it pushes you forward, all right? So everything is up and down at first. Now, when you transition to full speed, there has to be an exaggeration of the push into the hurdle. So at the cut step, you have to push as hard forward as possible, all right? Doing this is going to allow you to find rhythm eventually, all right? Through repetition, it might take you a few weeks, it might take you a few races. Ultimately, you'll run up on the fourth and fifth hurdle, they'll feel too close, and your body will lock into an automatic rhythm where you're no longer trying to hurdle, it's just happening, all right? So... It goes from up and down over the hurdles to a exaggerated push into the hurdles. And then at full speed, there's no push at all. And you just sprint straight through the hurdle. So the difference between these two reps is that on this rep, I exaggerated the push forward. Push forward into the hurdle. I go really long and I land very far off the hurdle. All right. That's the preface for what we want. Finally, when you're at your best, you're sprinting straight through the hurdle. You are not pushing into the hurdles. You're trying to sprint as if the hurdle was not there. And those are the three phases of hurdling. And we're going to go learning a lot more this season. Questions, comments, let me know in the comments below. Coach Koto signing out. Run fast. Make them chase you.